and fragrances. This is the fragrance business volume number four. And in today's volume, we're going to discuss uh, entrepreneurship while having a part time job and building a business on the side and how to separate yourself from a nine to five. Um, I like to call that the nine to five syndrome. And the reason for that is that, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a nine to five that's good. If it's going to pay the bills, it's going to help you. Uh, provide for your family is going to take care of your children but when I say the nine to five syndrome what I mean by that is this is uh, this idea that like the only way you can survive is by having a nine to five and uh, and that's absolutely not true because uh, some of your most successful businesses some of your most successful corporations in the world uh, definitely don't have that kind of mentality um, you know the if, if, like I mentioned in my last videos, um, if you're an engineer, if you're a doctor, if you're getting a high paid job, if, if you have a high paid job like that, you know, you still are on a nine to five. And at some point, um, you know, I have seen uh, engineers, doctors, lawyers actually venture off into uh, other businesses. I've actually done business uh, with, with it, uh, attorneys in the past, engineers in the past. And, um, and, and they have their hands in a whole lot of stuff. So this doesn't just apply to the person that is working a nine to five who is on a minimum wage uh, and barely surviving. This also applies for those who, who are in you know, um, careers that are high paying careers. Um, but how to do it, how to get out of the nine to five, um, you know, when you're first starting your fragrance business, you know, keep your nine to five. Like I mentioned some of this in my last videos, keep your nine to five, uh, start learning how to sell, start learning different techniques about uh, building your business up, uh, start, uh, uh, you know, your prospecting, gather your customers up, uh, and then, you know, build your business on the side little by little. And then, uh, once you see that, uh, that, you know, your fragrance business is starting to exceed your nine to five and you're making more income or, or equally amount, an equal amount of income um, doing your fragrance business, then you might want to start to move away from your nine to five. And this is some advice that was given to me uh, by a pioneer of someone who was in the fragrance business who runs a storefront. Um, this was the advice he gave me, an older, an older brother who I have a lot of respect for. Um, he said he told me he said what he did in the beginning. He used to do, um, you know, he actually used to do swap meets. He used to do, um, you know, different functions whenever a different events would be going on. He'd be there, um, and then what he did is he opened up a storefront, and he he only had it open like two three days out of the week. And because I guess the traffic wasn't very heavy at the time and so he did his moving job on the side uh, and this is you know how he paid the bills and provided for his family once that once his fragrance business once he started to, to, to get a high demand of customers coming and asking for his product with his fragrance business then he told his boss from with the moving company hey uh, you know I'm, I'm not gonna be able to work here anymore because my fragrance business is becoming too busy and I'm going to have to um, end our contract for uh, for this moving job. So he moved in full time and went full swing into the fragrance business. So you don't want to just stop your job and then hop right over into the fragrance business. You want to be smart about it and um, you know kind of jump rope on both sides as they say. Uh, so this is just my piece of advice. Uh, this is kind of how I did it. This is how others that I have known um, to be in the fragrance business this is how they did it. And, um, and this is just something you can try on your own. Um, start building up your customer base. Start building a, a strong foundation. You know, once you build up that foundation of customers uh, that are ordering from you regularly, whether it be retail or wholesale, then you, then you cut that off and move into that business. Another story of a guy who I know is running a full-time fragrance career, he used to drive an ice cream truck. <laughs> he would go around and he would, um, 
set up his accounts. He'd have accounts with liquor stores, smoke shops, uh, with body oils, incense, all that stuff, uh, burning oils. And um, once that business started to exceed his ice cream truck profits, he sold his ice cream truck, got rid of it, cut that off, and went full time into the fragrance side. And once you do that, once you actually make that transition over from your nine to five into actually running a full time fragrance business, uh, it's very rewarding. Uh, you're going to enjoy it. It's just something that um, it takes time, it takes patience. But if you have the discipline, if you have the patience, if, if you have the vision, um, then you can do it. And that's that's very, very important is to have the vision of the of the outcome uh, when it comes down to you know getting away from the nine to five syndrome and moving over into the fragrance business so this is just a short volume today of uh, volume number four in the fragrance business uh, I'm going to be doing other segments today I'll be uh, periodically I'll be adding you know maybe three or four videos you know, when I because I'm very business busy, so when I get the time, I'll shoot maybe three or four videos all in one day, and I'll have them up posted up uh, for you to check out. But uh, if you have any other questions, uh, contact me down below, uh, give me a call, and uh, stay tuned for the next volume. Thank you.